everyone. Good morning. Welcome to our webinar on risk management from UMDR perspective. I'm Sabrita Biswas, Director of Strategic Development at Microcare, and will be moderating today's webinar. I shall start with a brief outline about our company. Macrocare is a global drug development and consulting partner, offers services in clinical, regulatory, and medical space, supporting pharma, biotech, and medical device companies globally. Macrocare also offers services related to UMDR, CER writing, and also on their device and uh, support device companies in generating clinical data on their devices and offers full services for PMCF studies and registries, right from design, planning, conduct, to reporting. Now a few words about uh, regarding today's uh, webinar topic. As you might all know, risk management should be understood as a continuous iterative process throughout the entire life cycle of a device, requiring regular systematic updating. UMDR places great emphasis on the importance of medical device risk management and has provided detailed description on how the manufacturers should establish, document, implement, and maintain a system for risk management. Risk management and clinical evaluation processes should be interdependent and should be regularly updated. Keeping this in mind, our webinar today is designed to focus on risk management from UMDR perspective. Next, I would like to introduce our speaker today, Dr. Cinderella Lesman, PhD. She's a CR and MDR expert and our consultant. She has more than 15 years of medical device experience, including seven years in a medical device startup. She has worked as a consultant, and she works as a consultant for many small to large clients with class one, 2A, class 2B, and class three devices. She has authored and advised on regulatory submissions. Dr. Lesman works with many companies as a lead in obtaining C marking and also authoring. Um, finally, one last point before I hand over uh, to our speaker. During the course of the presentation, um, all of you, if you have any questions, please feel free to post any uh, questions that you have in the dialog box, um, the top right. Uh, we will have about 10 minutes at the end to respond to those. With that, uh, I'll hand over to you, Dr. Lesman. Hi. Um, next slide. Uh, today, I'm really excited to talk to you about the risk management from the EU MDR perspective. It's one of those hot topics uh, that you kind of take for granted, but yet you want to understand what is the perfect meaning of the perspective that the EU is trying to address. So today we'll walk through the plan in question. First, let's take a look at the agenda for today. Number one, we're gonna do risk management requirement on the MDR perspective risk benefit analysis, clinical investigation under the MDR, expectation above and beyond MEDDEV 2.7.1 revision four. And we're gonna talk about the conformity assessment procedure. Next slide, please. The learning objectives from this particular webinar will be to identify key changes to the requirement concerning the following steps for conformity assessment. We're gonna check the device in with the scope of the MDR, determine the risk class of the device. That means that each device now under the MDR will have to have be uh, reclassified or it could be the same classification I'm sorry. Select the conformity assessment procedure, identify the applicable safety and performance requirement, assemble the technical documentation, apply conformity assessment procedure, assemble